So today I'm going to be putting together the tower garden. It's going to take about half, not quite half of my grow tent here, but it's going to allow me to grow 20 plants vertically on this one single base. It's a 20 gallon base and you'd mix the nutrients and your water directly in the bottom and the pump forces water up the center and it showers down on the outside. It's a low pressure aeroponic system and it works really well. I've had great success with it in the past. So to start, all we're gonna do is just take the lid here and I've already screwed in the four screws that hold the first part of the tower to the base. The next thing I'm going to do is just flip it over and I'm gonna be connecting the tube this little hose here, it connects the center of the tower, which provides the, which provides the piping for the water to get to the top of the tower before it showers down. It connects that to the pump. So here's the pump here. It's a very simple pump and it's just going to screw in the bottom when I'm ready. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the tower supports. These are two little threaded rods and they go up the center of the tower. Uh, one on each side and they just hold it tightly in place so when you're putting plants in and out and um, bumping the tower everything's nice securely held together it's very simple but it works extremely well so what I'm going to do is take my first rod and just put put a nut on it I'll do that to both of them and that'll just help to keep it in place The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feed my rod in and just use this wing nut to hold it on the bottom. Once I get it in, I'm just going to tighten the nut on the top and that will hold it in perfectly. Then I'm just going to do the same on the other side here. And all you want to do is just make sure they're exactly opposite each other. So now that I've got that together, I'm going to go ahead and connect my pump. The pump has four uh, sticky feet suction cups and they'll help stick it to the bottom of the reservoir tub. I'm just gonna go ahead and spin the pump on. And then just stick it in the bottom. There's a little hole here at the back and that's where you can feed your wire through. Okay, so now that I've got the first piece on here, I'm going to be stacking the other four sections on top of this first section and it's going to alternate by about a quarter turn each way. So the next growing section will be over the flat section here. So the inside of the buckets here are marked with an A and B on these holes. So all I'm doing is rotating A, B, A, B for the ones I put on these threaded rods. Each one of these sections here has four growing pods on it and the net cups will rest in there allowing four plants to grow in each section times my five sections is 20 plants in total. It has the built-in centerpiece here and the water comes up through the, through the tower through the center and gets delivered to the top. And 
while you're putting them together, you can actually put in your net pots here and it actually makes it a little bit easier. Even at, as you put them in. Another thing you can do, which is perfectly fine if, there, if you already have it in, is they just snap into place easily. So the last part of the tower here is the shower cap. The water comes up through the center and then showers down across the plant roots through these perforated holes here. So I'm just going to line up these last pieces. I'm going to be using two washers and two wing nuts. Put on my washers and then tighten it all down. You don't want to over tighten it because it is plastic, but you can feel it's sucking itself together as we put this in here. Okay, and so the last piece is just the top cap. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill the reservoir with water and then we'll test it out and make sure it works. So now that I have it together here, you can see the pump turned on. The pump just sends the water up the center and then it drops down through the shower cap down onto the roots. I've left some of the net pots out so you could just see the water trickling down there. So all the roots will be inside those net cups and you can see they're getting nicely doused with water inside there. The roots will grow down inside the chamber here and they'll get plenty of water and plenty of air to grow. And then the water will just continue all the way down back into the reservoir at the bottom. And there's the tower garden. Simple as that. So now that you've seen how fast and easy it is to put together a tower garden, I'll show you how difficult it is to start planting. So these are just seeds that I've started in rock wool. These are different lettuces. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your lettuce, rock wool, and stick it down in your neck cup and you're done. Let's continue with the rest. I have little uh, labels here, which I'm going to update with my new crop. I'm just gonna continue to stick these around. These are all low-lying plants I have here, like lettuces and uh, some choy and some kale. And so they can just randomly go. But if you have anything taller, you might wanna put it near the top or near the bottom and have it bush out but I'm just gonna pack these things in. You can see there's some nice roots starting there. So as the water trickles down, it's gonna hit those roots and those roots are just gonna love it and soak it all up.